Hello, it's Claire from Angelic Scallywags. Today we're going to have a day in the life of a small art business owner, aka me. Okay, so here you can see me writing down my list of things to do for the day in my Ruby Granger academic diary. I sort of ignore all the academic parts. I really, really like her product because the paper is so thick that my ink pen doesn't sort of leak through it. And the sizes for each day is just perfect for the amount of stuff I get done in a day. Not too little, but not too much. So I literally just brain dump and I add to it throughout the day. But this is just at the start of the day with my lovely cup of coffee. Next, I pack an order. And this is an order from one of my friends who I know is collecting it on this particular day. So I just quickly make up her order. I make a mental note to myself that I've used up the last of the um, thank you cards so I know I need to make some of those up later on in the day. So one of the things on my list of things to do um, was to take photos for Instagram and also for listings for Etsy. So here I am just writing down the specific photos that I need and what I'm hoping to create within each photo and you can see my Instagram page open up there so I'm just checking which stickers I've shown already and which stickers I haven't and as I'll be taking photos mainly of the stickers today I'm now going through and just taking out one of each sticker um, and at the same time because I like to stop take each week because I have little children, well I have older children actually, that steal my stickers all the time. So I need to keep an eye on the volume of stickers that I've got in stock. So I'm now counting them at the same time as taking them out for the photos. And I'm writing down their totals. So later on today I'll make up, um, I like to have 10 of everything, including my cards, 10 cards, 10 stickers of each variety. So I'm just jotting down now how many I need to make up. I did my cards last week, so I know I don't have to check those because only the five that I took out today. So it's just stickers today. Now I take, I do my photo shoot, but I use my um, phone to film and to um, take photos and so what I've done is made a nice little slideshow of all the photos that I took for Etsy and Instagram. So I'm hoping I'm going to have time to upload these into Etsy. It's one of my least favourite jobs to do I have to say. Um, but I shall do my best today to upload as many as possible. And here I am making some of those thank you cards. And the reason for me doing that isn't just because I've run out, but an order has come in from Etsy. My first ever order from somebody that I don't know. And I don't know from my blog and I don't know in real life. So I'm very, very excited and I need to make up some more of these thank you cards. So I end up making about 14 of them, I think. Um, I print them out. I've already got a file on my computer, so I just need to print them out. And then I cut them using my, I don't really like this guillotine. It's quite a rough, it does quite a rough cut. My other one's much easier and much better to use, but it's so big and I don't really have very much space. Um, so this works at a pinch. I also really like taking the corners off everything. Um, but I'm finding now that this corner punch isn't as good as I had thought it might be. 
um, and I'd really like to get one that does many pages all at the same time. Maybe that's in my future. But I've seen some that you just sort of, you pull down the lever and it cuts like a hundred all at the same time. That's just a dream. This one tends to get bunged up quite easily. Anyway, I get there in the end. Once I've finished, I pop them into the packing station next to me and I get on with packing the order. I can't tell you how exciting this order is to me and I really enjoyed just packing it up. I gave her a free card and a free sticker and I was just very enthusiastic about the whole process because it was my first ever order from somebody I didn't know, which is massive for me. I don't film this part but at the end after packing the order I weigh it on my scales and I print off an Etsy slip, um, postage slip which just gets pasted onto the envelope and then I ask one of my daughters to go and post it for me which she happily did. Once I've finished posting this and it's gone off to be posted I head into the kitchen for my breakfast. Now I always eat a bit later on um, because I'm never hungry earlier on in the day so I have a sort of brunch and at the same time I'm printing out something for my next product which is going to be little custom-made notebooks and once I come back from having eaten breakfast I pop the photocopies into my print uh, into my cutter my silhouette and my trusty silhouette cuts all of the book covers out for me. Now I'm quite pleased I didn't make loads and loads of these because they weren't quite the right size. So I printed it out onto vellum sticker paper which I make all of my stickers from um, and I really like how the colour came out and I really like how firm and thick the covers were um, and you can see I've, I've done two here using the vellum, uh, sorry using the sticker paper. But when I actually go to put them onto the books, they are not quite the right size, even though I measured and I used the measurements to make the book covers. Um, you'll see it doesn't quite fit on the books as well as I had hoped. I also just crammed in a few more stickers onto each sheet so I don't waste the sticker paper and I thought I could maybe give those stickers out to go along with the notebooks as a sort of freebie. Um, however look so there we go I've covered the books here and I think they look really nice I'm really pleased with them um, but the corners didn't get covered and I actually had to cut the corners off a little bit which you'll see there the papers showing um, so I really need to rethink the size of those I made them on Canva so what I do is after I film this I just go back into Canva and um, make slightly bigger ones. Here I am just playing around with packaging for them because I really like them, I really like how they've turned out. Um, so I'm using one of the stickers that I printed alongside it to stick the vellum bags down. I take the books to show the rest of my family and they kind of agree that the vinyl isn't quite right, it's a bit sticky and it's quite stiff. So I go back to the drawing board and I go into Canva, I increase the size and then I print it out on some cheap um, sticker paper, just regular paper that you can write on and um, everything, it's just a label paper actually. And it's very inexpensive and low quality. so. I wasn't expecting the colours to come out well and the colours didn't come out well. But apart from that, I think the actual idea of having a paper cover is much, much better idea. And I'm getting there with the size, although still the corners aren't covered as well as I want them to be covered. 
so it looks like I'm probably going to have to go back into Canva and make them even bigger. This time I stick the first and the last page onto the cover of the book um, because Gary said to me it didn't look very professional with the fold overs being noticed. So I did that and I really liked how that looked. So this is the last one I try on this day. And again, it's just printed onto the inexpensive sticker paper. And this is really just me trying trial and error of trying to get the right size for the books. So on this one I've actually created some corners specially for going around the corner and that has worked really really well and when you paste the first and the last page onto the cover you don't notice any of the folds at all and it looks really neat and tidy. So I'm just showing you here the colours, the difference in the colours, so the vinyl is an expensive vinyl and high quality and the sticker paper is just a very generic, um, inexpensive label paper. And the colours, you can just see the colours aren't as vibrant. So I'm going to look into some more expensive label paper, sticker paper, that I can perhaps um, get the vibrant colours, but also a, a nice matte finish, because I really, really like how the plain paper stickers look. Next I have a quick lunch and now I'm back and I'm printing out all of the stickers that I had made a note of um, in the morning. And any time you can see here I couldn't fit any more giraffes on that paper so any time I've got a bit of space on sticker paper I add some of my George birds which are the George birds are part of my logo and they are my choice of free sticker usually and so I like to have loads and loads of those in stock. And using my silhouette again, I love this machine, it has completely opened up so many options for me. Sometimes the silhouette plays up a little bit, although I don't think it's it playing up, it's me not knowing it well enough to make sure that the mistakes I make I don't make. Um, but with the giraffes, I had obviously edited it so much in, with my iPad in Procreate that I had deleted some of or erased some of the black outline. And if it can't tell where the outline is, it does like lots and lots of dots along that outline and then tries to cut the outline and then goes around the white outline afterwards and that's what's happening here so I actually decide to cut out one of the giraffe pages by hand. I'm just finishing up now all of my stickers and you can see the lights are going down outside it's looking dark and it's coming to the end of the day so I'm slowing down now, I'm just going to finish cutting the stickers and then I will get them out and um, add them to my boxes and that will be it for me for today. One of my favourite things is seeing all of the stickers together. I love all the deep colours and I just love how they all look together. I'm really pleased with everything I've got done today. Um, Hopefully I will see you next week. If you've enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe and maybe even leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, I'll see you next week and don't forget to dream impossible dreams. Bye bye.